creek Walk them up and down in the summer heat Same old boy changing like the seasons Country kid turn it to a town right heathen Hey everybody, welcome back to Old Man Van Running. Here again in the Old Man Van Cave, the Old Man Van Castle. Today's video is going to cover my St. Paddy's Day weekend in New York City, getting ready for and racing the 2024 United Airlines New York City Half Marathon. Man, it's such a great race. I highly recommend you run it if you ever get a chance. You get to run through Times Square. It's just amazing. It's my third time in a row, and man, I just never gets old. But before we do that, I just want to cover one thing. As you know, I qualified for the Boston Marathon. I actually just finished my last week and I'm starting my taper today. So about a month ago, I decided, hey, I'm already running the Boston Marathon. Why not leverage this opportunity to raise money for a cause that's near and dear to my heart? Both my mother and grandmother suffered from Alzheimer's, horrible disease for them, and also a horrible disease for the families. So I looked up the official Alzheimer's charity of the Boston Marathon, Team and ALZ, you'll see up here on the screen, and I reached out to them and said, hey, can already qualified and registered runners still raise money for your cause? And they told me, absolutely. They welcomed me in. I've been raising money and, you know, I've already surpassed $1,000, hey, in less than a month. And I think that's really good. If you'd like to donate, please scan the QR code that's on the screen. That'll take you right to my fundraising page. Any and all contributions are greatly appreciated. So with that, let's get right out to New York. Okay, so here I am in New York City, just outside the Westgate Hotel. And I'm on 42nd Street, and I'm heading to the, the Experience right now to pick up my bib and get ready for the weekend. It's Friday night, March 15, 2024. Okay, I'm on East 38th Street. I'm gonna head up. The expo is right up there, or the experience, so I'm gonna be there in a couple of minutes. Okay, found it. There it is up there. Doesn't look like a huge line right now. So, should be able to get in there very easily. Hey there, Jets. Hey. How are we doing? Good, good. Here we are. No line this time. So this is Friday. This is a little right around six o'clock. So that's really good. Better than coming in on Saturday, late Saturday afternoon, I'm trying to get in here at the last minute. So this is much, much better. Thank you. Very cool stuff. Thank you. Man, much fewer people here at this time of night than uh, last year. Last year it was Saturday and it was pretty, pretty packed. Not too bad right now. I'm gonna check my number and my uh, QR code so I know what, uh, what group I'm gonna go to. Right here, and I'm gonna head over and you know you gotta get your picture taken. So 
I guess I'll do that. Okay, we're here in the New Balance store. Up here you have all the hats. And a lot of stuff around here. A lot of people inside, a lot more than was outside. So I think a lot of people came early. Want to get out of here for dinner. Getting you here early this year, there's a lot more stuff available. I want to take a look at some gloves here. Okay, like always, have to buy stuff. Got plenty of stuff here, plenty of stuff here. And this gentleman right here taking care of Old Man Ben. Old Man Ben is the guy. Yeah, I'll Go. give you a shout out in this YouTube video, all right? I appreciate it, man. Thank What's you. What's your name? My name is Felix. Felix, thank you, my friend. Thank you, man. Good luck out there. Okay, got my picture taken on some stuff. And now I'm gonna head downstairs. picture go to the name wall get a picture and some video of my name and then I will get back to the hotel and get some dinner and this is the right one right here with B as you can see right there you gotta go to B so it's up here somewhere B Vasquez we gotta get the van this van oh there it is William Van Nuenhuizen, right there. That's way too cool. All right, it's time to get out of here. Let's get some food, rest up, and enjoy my Friday night here in New York City. Let's go. All right, it's not dark yet, so that's a good thing. So here in, right around Fifth Avenue, getting ready for the St. Patty's Day Parade. Very cool out here. Crisp, crisp day, low 50s. be so cool running through here tomorrow we're gonna head right over to make sure it is yep 7th Ave I'm going to 7th Ave right now this is where we're gonna be running through tomorrow it's gonna to be amazing wow look at that very very cool very very cool the old hard rock cafe right over here Tomorrow it will be amazing here. Only twice a year does 7th Avenue and Times Square get shut down, and that is for New Year's Eve 
and the New York City Half Marathon. Okay, the crowds are absolutely crazy since it's uh, St. Patty's Day weekend, as you can see here. There's a lot of people out here. A lot of people. So we have a 3.30 reservation right around 3 o'clock right now. So I'll be out here waiting for Bill. He should show up around 3.30. Gonna be a lot of fun getting in there. It looks packed. There it is. The famous Carmines. Hey everybody, I'm back in the hotel. Let's just quickly go over my kit for tomorrow. It's 6 uh, 09 on the 16th. So so let's start up at the top here. I've got my NDLZ for Alzheimer's, the uh, hat I'm going to actually wear to Boston. I'm also going to wear it tomorrow. I like it. It's white. It's light. I've got my shades. I've got my Aeropex headphones. I've got my New Balance NYC Half Marathon gloves, light gloves. There you have my Old Man Van running singlet. It's got own VR on the back. I've got my bib already set on there with my bib boards right there with the Osprey photo that I took. My Waleco short tights. I didn't bring my naked belt. For some reason I forgot that, so this is great because I can carry my phone and I can carry my gels with no issue and my identification. So that should be fine. Moving on down here, I've got some new feature socks that I've worn a couple of times, very, very comfortable. They're kind of mid-weight. And then I've got the Saucony Endorphin Pro 4s and my Stride Foot Pod. One thing I might wear tomorrow, if depending on how cold it is in the morning, I may wear this Under Armour underlayer. Uh, we'll see, this base layer. We'll see um, how it is in the morning. It's only supposed to be about 50 degrees, which isn't bad at all. Right here, I'm gonna have some KT tape I'm gonna put on in the morning, carrying two gels with me. I've got my nip strips right here. I'll put those on in the morning before I leave. Over here, I've got my throwaway clothes, a throwaway hat, a couple of throwaway long sleeve t-shirts, and I have a pair of throwaway shoes. It's my old Arahi Fives from Hoka. So that's what I've got for tomorrow. I'm also gonna check a bag. Here's the bag here. Already have my bag check number on it. So I'll carry that and I'll carry, you know, maybe this half zip here uh, to warm up after the race. I also went and got myself some goodies, some pastries, a couple of bananas, a couple of bottles of water uh, for tomorrow morning. I will be using some of the camo butter just uh, for chafing issues. I'll put that on. I'm also going to wear my polar heart rate monitor right here, and I have some Spectra 360 gel there. Um, it's the electrode gel, so that'll help the conduction better. So there you have it. Um, I'm still debating whether to carry my GoPro only or also carry Insta360. So we'll see how that goes in the morning. But there you have my gear for tomorrow. I'm going to take a shower. Already went to Carmine's, had a wonderful dinner with my son. <laughs> wonderful dinner. Ate a lot of spaghetti and meatballs at 3.30 in the afternoon. So I should have plenty of time to digest it. Had a restful day today, even though I went to the St. Patty's Day Parade. So ready to go. Now it's time to just kind of settle in. I'm actually taking an Uber to the start tomorrow morning so I don't have to deal with the subway. So they'll meet me right outside the hotel. It'll be about a half an hour and I should get there by six. Go check my bag, get to the start, get my corral and be ready to go for the start at 720. Weather's supposed to be about 50 degrees, partly cloudy, perfect. And it's not supposed to move much over the course of the race. Good morning, everybody. It's March 17th, 2024. It's the United Airlines New York City Half Marathon Day. I'm here in my hotel room. There you can see me over there. You can see, I've got my singlet on. I've got my bib on. I've got my Waleco short tights. Besides, I'm getting nice and ready, having myself a banana. I do have like a chocolate croissant I might eat as well, and maybe a muffin or bits of a muffin, and some water. I did take that one Imodium that I always take before a race. 
just did that. Got my gels out. Only gonna take two of those with me. It's a half marathon. I don't need more than that. Getting hydrated. Have my bag pretty much packed that I'm gonna check. Rearing to go, the weather's supposed to be really good this morning, so let's uh, enjoy the weather and uh, enjoy a great race. So looking forward to this. Okay, I'm in my throwaway clothes. Got a hat, got a couple of long sleeve shirts. Got my shoes, my race shoes, my Endorphin Pro 4s, put my Stride Foot Pod on there. Gonna throw a banana over here. Um, I was debating whether I was gonna eat those, but I don't think I'm gonna eat those. I think I'm good right now. I had a protein bar. Maybe I'll take another protein bar with me. There's one more here. Take that. Did take the Imodium and uh, should be good to go. I'm gonna head down to the lobby and get ready. Since I'm on 42nd Street, the question's gonna be, is the road closed? So can the Uber get here? So that's really important. So let's go check that out. Here we go. I've got it all closed off, so now i got to figure out how I'm going to get out there if there are no cars that can get out there. Well, it looks like they might be able to get out here this morning. We shall see. Okay, I don't know if you can see me, but we're here at the bag check. I'll be going right over there. Wave one, 4,800 to 71.99. Uh, that's my vehicle. Get all my gear here. Not looking for Bruce this year. Poor Bruce, I wish he was here. Uh, unfortunately, he was injured, so we'll just have to live with that today. Let me get myself all situated here. Uh, I wanna stay warm, so I'm gonna keep this stuff on until we get over there. I'll keep the uh, throwaway shoes and the rest of that stuff and then uh, we'll be all set. I'm going to keep this hat on, these shirts. I'm going to take a few things off, uh, throw them in the bag, but uh, we'll be pretty much ready to go. Okay, just checked in my bag over here. See everybody starting to pile in here. So they're gonna start heading up towards the corral. Take another uh, bathroom break and uh, settle in a little bit. Try to stay warm. Welcome to the 2024 United Airlines New York City app. So how am I feeling today? Feeling pretty good. Um, sleep was okay last night, but uh, had a pretty restful Saturday. Uh, the goal today, like I said, is between marathon and half marathon pace. Good training race for Boston, so we'll uh, we'll play it by year and see how I feel. But uh, you know, I've got a big big volume week coming up, so don't want to blow the legs out totally, but want to give them a good good shake out here today. So we're coming up on security. I'm gonna to have to uh, get my bib visible. That way they'll let me in. I will definitely do that. Gotcha. Morning, morning. Made it through security. No issues there. Let's see where we're headed. That's where the start is. So down there is where we're gonna head down in a little while to get to the corrals but there's plenty of Porter Johns over here, so I might take advantage of that now. They're on both sides of the street, so this is probably a good time while there aren't too many folks here, so. Okay, so as you know, I'm testing out the Saucony and Dauphin Pro 4s today. Like all race shoes, they're a little bit snug. They're a little bit wider in the forefoot than the Endorphin Pro 3s. And just walking around, they do feel more stable, a little bit wider base there. They're not broken in. Whether or not they need breaking in, we shall find out, but not broken in at all. We'll see how these go today. Generally, Saucony fits me pretty well, so I'm excited to give them a try today and see if these will be my Boston Marathon race shoes. Okay, so we're going to start heading down towards the corrals. Folks are packing it in. Again, it's a beautiful morning. Right now, it's probably in the high 40s. Get this funky hat stuff on here. <laughs> Gotta take this all off when I get into the corral. 
hit the Porter Johns one more time. Three Try to get yellow warmed bibs. up. Your crowds will begin at 8 a.m. and have your H20 a.m. starts. Your green bibs, 830 a.m. There's a little bit of a breeze this morning. We'll see how it is on the FDR, but uh, it's a little chilly. Not as chilly as last year, though. In five minutes, we will begin. The corrals will open at 6.50 a.m. In five minutes for our wave one weather. Okay, just handed in my uh, roadway clothes. Ready to go here. It is now 6.55 a.m. They're getting ready to start the wheelchairs. Um, so, got about 25 minutes before the start. Really looking forward to this. Corrals are filling up. Taking a peek out here down the corral. There is no end in sight yet to corral number one. We've got thousands and thousands. Here we go. We're up. Rock and roll, baby. It's uphill. Let's settle into a nice pace here. Don't want to go up too high. Need to warm up. Okay, let's 
a little crowded right now, but there we go. Got some open space. Okay, we're going to be heading into Prospect Park now. Going to be doing a little climbing here in a minute. So going to sell with. Climbing in Prospect Park. Coming out. Gonna get some water here. Soldiers and Sailors Memorial Arch. We're running downtown Brooklyn to the Manhattan Bridge. Pull it back just to here, just to get over with no problem. Four miles in, approaching the Manhattan Bridge. So climb in the Manhattan Bridge.
be coming down into Chinatown in a few minutes. Chinatown! Hit the FDR. Okay, we're on the most brutal part of the course, the FDR Drive.
Ryan! Ryan, you get a shout out on the video, my friend. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Here we go to the finish. Forty-six, which is pretty good considering I've had that injury. It's a good warm-up race for Boston, so I'm happy with that today. Really good job. Woohoo! So very, very happy. I was thinking maybe around 144 today, so beat that. First run in the Saucony and Dauphin Pro Fours. They were pretty good, pretty stable, no hot spots. At least I don't feel any hot spots so far. So that's really good. Now time for the medal. Thank you. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Woohoo! There it is. Get my third in a row. Happy with today. And I saw Bill up on Times Square. So I got to see my young and son. And uh, that was really cool as well. Second straight New York race, I got to see some of my kids. So that's pretty awesome. Oh, I love that. Here's Ramon right here. Great, great guy. How'd you do, man? I think 144. That's awesome. I think 144. Yeah. Very nice to meet you, Ramon. Nice meeting you all the time. That's yeah. really cool. Likewise. Cool, met a couple of subscribers. Now I'm gonna go get my bag and uh, get out here and meet Bill. Fine Bill. Good front today. Heading out with my youngin. Heading back to the hotel. Runner's still coming. They'll be coming for another couple hours actually. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I know it's a little lengthy, but that's why I put chapters in it so you can fast forward or go wherever you want. But man, it was a real positive warm-up race for me, as you could see from the video. Look at this nice medal, really like it. My time was great, better than what I had expected and planned for. So I'm really excited about the next three weeks of taper. And I'm really feeling like I've got a good chance to PR in Boston. And the last nugget from that is those shoes up there. The Endorphin Pro 4s that I wore for the very first time during the New York City Half Marathon. Those are my marathon shoes. Those are my Boston marathon shoes. So you've heard it right here. Before I forget, shout out to Brian and Ramon, both supporters of the Old Man Van Running Channel. You saw Brian in the video in Central Park as we were heading towards the finish line. 
Thanks for saying hello, Brian. It was really great to meet you. Hope to see you at a race again. And then there's Ramon. Ramon, you also saw in the video after we finished. Ramon, it was great meeting you. It was great talking with you as we were walking through towards the exit. And let me tell you, I'm gonna be looking for you in Chicago. See you there. So if you liked the video, remember to hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll get notified when more videos are posted. Comments, comments, comments. As always, any and all comments really do help my channel. And again, if you know anybody, running pals, running buddies, acquaintances, whomever that you think might like the Old Man Van Running channel, please let them know. So thanks again, and remember, lace up those shoes, and let's get out on the roads. Railroad tracks run along the creek Walk them up and down in the summer heat Same old boy changing like the seasons Country kid turn it to a town right heathen